Today's video is going to be reviewing what I've seen so far in Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. For those of you guys that are new to my YouTube channel, what I want to say is our channel really is trying to do one thing. It's trying to build a community of people that can help one another get better at Madden. That's really all we're trying to do here, uh, just trying to post content as consistently as possible and uh, giving you guys some free tips and tricks that you can use to get better at the game. So what have I seen so far in Madden 18? I, I don't have the game yet. I haven't played it. But I've been watching a lot of my friends, a lot of people that I know, a lot of people that I trust uh, with what they've been seeing in Madden 18. And here's what I've kind of seen so far, just based on everything I've watched and seen and, uh, and read and learned. Madden 18 is very, very similar to Madden 17. Okay, and I, I expected that to happen. But what, what is the critical thing that you need to know is what is different. So the, the biggest difference in Madden 18, in my opinion, from what I've seen and what I've heard from, from other people, is the way the offensive line works. Uh, I think that's the biggest difference by far, um, just because you can't have a bad offensive line anymore. Offensive line does matter now. I've got to look a little bit more. It's going to be interesting to see as the season goes on. Um, what people think matters from a ratings perspective. Is it, is it pass block? Is it run block? Is it impact block? Is it strength? You know, there's there's going to be all these different theories about different things for Madden 18. Um, but anyways, what I've been seeing is that that's been one of the biggest things, in my opinion, that, that really is going to matter in terms of a gameplay difference. The target passing, I haven't really seen it be successful. Um, I know a lot of people were talking about how important target passing is. It looks to me like it's going to be a little bit complicated for people, especially in the competitive scene. People are not going to be able to use target passing uh, as consistently, I think, as, as I was thinking we would be able to. It just seems like it's a lot of work. And one of the things when, you, when, you're, when you're playing competitive, you need speed. You need quickness. You need uh, simplicity. Those are critical things. And I think target passing, you, you kind of have to line it up a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, for, for those of you guys that have the game, I would like to get your thoughts on target passing. Is it worth it? Is it is it good? Is it bad? Is it indifferent? I think it's indifferent. I think it's neutral. I don't think it's good or bad. I think it's just another feature that they put in the game. Um, let's see. Let's go to long shot story mode. Long shot story mode has been a huge success. I, I figured it would be. Um, it's one of the biggest adjustments in Madden 18 from a, from a, uh, enjoyment perspective. It, it's going to add a whole new element. I'm excited to play it. Uh, I hope you guys are excited. Uh, we're going to have a, we're, we're going to make a player as a, as a channel here and we're going to follow his story all the way through QJB. If you guys don't know who he is, uh, he does some content, uh, for Madden and also different, you know, sports games, but he is probably the best I've ever seen at doing a story mode. So um, that's someone who I would recommend you guys maybe subscribing to because he does a really good job with what he puts together for, for story modes and things like that. Um, playbooks. So I made a video earlier and I was talking about the playbooks and different things that they're doing. Uh, I, what I what I have seen a lot is it's kind of like uh, in Madden... I think it's Madden 13 when they started doing it a lot. It may be, maybe, a, maybe, no, it might not have been Madden 13. It probably was Madden 25. I can't remember which season it was, but it's when they started going to a lot more inside zones, a lot more uh, stuff like that. Um, that is kind of what this year is going to be. A lot of inside zones, a lot of zone running. Uh, I'm assuming that the running game, the best run in the game, what I've seen so far is the inside zone. Uh, from different shotgun sets, they have a a really neat little uh, shotgun set that I noticed. It, it's like a jump, it's like the single back jumbo pair, but it's for shotgun, and you can run inside zones off of it, so it looks pretty good. Uh, but there's what I've noticed with the playbooks is, and this is crucial. This is crucial for you guys to hear. What I have noticed with the playbooks and the different gameplays that I've watched and all of that, this game plays very similar to Madden um, uh, Madden 15. Uh, or Madden 25. I would probably say more toward Madden 25. Um, it, it's a little slower. It, it's I, I'm trying to kind of try to figure out how to say this to you guys because it's not bad or good. It's just it's just uh, different. This game Madden, uh, what we're Madden 17 here. This game you can feel it when you play the game. It plays about medium speed. So, but the problem with Madden 17 is like when you're running the ball. None of your moves really matter outside of the truck move. None of them. 
what I have noticed in Madden 18, which is a huge deal to me, is most of the special moves matter. I was watching a, a problem play some Madden, and he is one of the best players I've ever seen with the users with the with the controller. Like he he just can make some really good user plays, and I have noticed that in his gameplay, he's been able to make a lot of really good user plays with his running back, with his playmaker that he used to do. He's actually running uh, an offense similar to what he ran um, when he was playing, I think in Madden 25 or Madden 16. I can't remember what season it was. But anyways, one other thing that I'm noticing too, and this is good for a gameplay perspective, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the uh, new features one of the biggest things I've noticed from a gameplay perspective is that what people thought wasn't going to work anymore still works. Um, and that what I mean by that is the post routes. Post routes are, and I, I said it and 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 said it. What I've tried to explain is when you run a post route in Madden, um, there's a reason it's good. There's a couple reasons. Number one, it, it's automatically going to give you inside positioning ma the majority of the time, especially against zone defense. The second thing that's most important about post routes is you can't hot route them. You can't hot route the route. It's, it's a unique route. And then the third thing, in my opinion, that's the most practical and most important about a post route is you can. it's got a very high ability to be user caught. That is critical when you're looking at um, strong, what I would call power routes in a play. So, for example, if I run the play stick, the only reason I'm running this play is for the corner route on the outside. Um, everything else, really, I could care less about. Like, every other route on the field, I've actually hot routed. Um, you know what I mean? So, that's why I'm saying when you're looking for your plays, always look for a post route or a corner route of some type. It could be a C route. It could be a inverted post route, but those are the power routes. Okay. And we're seeing that I think in Madden 18, all the gameplay that I've seen so far points to post routes being good. Once again, the only difference is instead of running Z spot post route from bunch, you're now going to utilize a different type of post route. And we'll show you how to do that. Uh, and once the game comes out and we're also going to talk a lot about that in our uh, Madden 18 offensive guide, which you'll be able to purchase on August 22nd. The guide will release on August 22nd, uh, and it will be, in my opinion, it's going to be the best guide in Madden 18. It's going to teach you offense, it's going to teach you defense, it's going to teach you everything that I know uh, about the two things, and we're going to distill it down into an easy-to-follow format for you, very simple, very easy to apply. So I'm pretty excited about that. I've been working on it. Uh, I've written most of it already. I just got to plug the plays in once the game comes out and get some footage uh, but anyways, so that's kind of what I'm seeing. Routes that people thought weren't going to be good are still good. Um, in routes, out routes, slant routes, post routes, corner routes. Those are still good. Those are still very effective. And um, one other thing I want to talk about uh, is is the new features, uh, especially with the, the offensive line. One of the things that have been huge for me to notice, I was watching Zan. I don't know if you guys know who Zan is, but Zan is... A really, really good Madden player, very wise Madden, and I would call him a wise Madden player. He He's someone that's been around the game for a long time, and he just really understands the way Madden works, the way the game works year to year. And one of the things he was talking about uh, in, a, in a post that he did was the importance of the offensive line, and it was very clear to me. Um, one of the things that he showed was the importance of formation uh, adjustment. So I'm the kind of guy that would run 4-3 under against 5 wide. Um, you could still do that. What you can't do anymore is run like quarter normal against I form tight. Um, that that doesn't really work anymore, and that's a big deal uh, to me because that's going to force people to now come more toward a nickel formation or a four three three four type set, which it limits the possibilities of things you can do defensively. Um, but at the same time, it's still all the same. The only difference is the formation and the players. And then one other thing on that real quick is the um, the, the cross manning. So the cross manning, uh, if you guys don't know, that was one of the most popular ways to play Madden in, in, in this last year's game in Madden 17. In my opinion, it was the best way to play defense because what you could do with that is you could really limit the post routes. You, you could really take that away. And what they've done this season is they have made it so that you can only man up, uh, again, across the formation – you could only man up the middle linebacker and the two safeties up top. You can't man up your corners anymore. Like your slot corners can't man up against the guy on the opposite side. And the only thing that I, I wanted to touch on with that 
is it's it's an interesting thing because what happens is they they've kind of taken it out, but at the same time you can still get some of the principles. So I think they're in a nice little common ground. Uh, a lot of people won't even think to use crossband anymore, which will make post routes more powerful. Um, so if you guys have a post route offense, like I I primarily run post routes and corner routes. Those are the two critical things that I look for. Um, if you do that, one of the things that you can do off of that is now you're going to have more flexibility because the cross man, most people aren't going to run it. But if you're a defensive player, what you can do um, is you can you can actually um, you know use that to your advantage because you can you you can put your safeties in man coverage, put your deep corners in like an inverted cover two, like from cover three or something like that, and what it does now is it is it changes – it just is another thing that changes the game. So if I ran well, – I'll show you here real quick what I'm talking about. So I'm, I'm going to run cover three. What I can do is I can take my safeties and man them up, and then I can man up my middle linebacker, and then I could, you know, user this guy, um, something like this here, and I'm going to put this guy in a uh, in a coverage. But you see how they're all cross-band up, all the inside stuff's taken away, and you get the pressure. So that's just another tool in your arsenal. So pretty excited about Madden 18. I wanted to give you my thoughts on things I've seen. Again, it's it's changed slightly, but not enough to where you can't prepare for it in Madden 17. For those of you guys like me who are playing the PlayStation 4, and unfortunately you just don't have access to the game yet, and there's nothing you can do about it, uh, which, I, again, one question I have for you guys is why do they not let PS4 have early access? Uh, that, to me, makes zero sense, so I'd be interested to hear your guys' thoughts on that. And then one other thing I wanted to ask all of you guys who have played Madden 18, um, what are your thoughts of the game? What's your review? Let me know in the comments, um, because then what I can do with that is then talk a little bit more about that on the channel. So I would love to hear your thoughts and hear your, um, you know, your critiques of the game. What do you like? What do you not like? What do you think is good for the community to know? going into Madden 18, all of those things, let me know in the comments. Um, that's kind of the takeaway of the video. I just want you guys to share your thoughts on Madden 18, and we can just get in some dialogue, get in some discussion. What have you seen for those of you guys that haven't played yet? And then for those of you guys that have played, what are some things that you weren't expecting? Is the game you know, as different as you expected, or is it more similar to Madden 17? Some of those questions, just let me know your thoughts. Uh, in the comments below. But I want to thank you guys for taking time to watch this video, and we will check you guys.